Hi, I'm uh, redoing this video. Of course, you don't know that. Uh, my computer only copied... Oh, how risque. Excuse me. Uh, I, uh... Last week, my daughter went back to school at a uh, high school here in Switzerland, on the other side of Switzerland. It's a private school. A very, very good uh, high school. If you have kids who have intelligence and... Uh, really are looking for an experience in high school, uh, the École Humanitaire in Haslieberg, that's H-A-S-L-I-B-E-R-G, Switzerland, in the canton of Berg, it's it Berg, Bern, excuse me, Berg is mountain, uh, the canton of Bern, B-E-R-N, uh, it's worthwhile looking into. Uh, they get a very good education and uh, uh, kids there. Uh, I've talked about our house being graced with uh, kids from Taiwan, Korea, uh, America, everywhere. But last week, a uh, young man came, and uh, he is Muslim. We've talked about it before, uh, because when the kids come, we have to, you know, I ask, is there anybody who can't eat anything? Are the vegetarians? Or, and he announced last time that he was a, a Muslim and couldn't eat pork. And so uh, my daughter says to the kids that she likes, if you need a place to stay before or after a holiday, if you're flying in or out, and you need a place to stay. Um, come on and stay here. And so he got in a day early, and actually a day late, because his travel plans were he was going to stay two days, I think. But came, and uh, when he got here, he had a little wooden box that somebody had made, and I got laughing. I said, we bring his chickens. And my son, who picked him up to the train station, said, you know, Dad, I asked him the same thing if he was bringing his chickens. Well, he was bringing his food. Uh, his parents found out that uh, he was going to stay here for a day and very graciously uh, made quite a bit of food for us, a uh, really uh, ethnic uh, meat dish, which was just very tasty. We've had the chance to eat it over a few meals because it, it was quite a bit of food. When I got thinking, uh, one of the reasons I got thinking was when we were driving back to the school, uh, Morad and I were talking, and he said, do you think the Americans are going to continue what they're doing and alienate and anger the entire world. And he is talking about what I talk about, the imperialistic, hegemonic ways of uh, America, their sword-rattling, propaganda, and bullshit that they perpetuate, and every country in the world is part of the evil axis. Well, again, if you're pointing the finger at somebody else, there's a pretty good chance that uh, we, at least my, the country I was born in, is mainly the big part of the evil axis. Uh, but that's off the point. Uh, I got thinking about, as this young man, and his, his parents graciously send us foods to feed my family, because uh, they said that he can't come here without bringing something. But the country he's from was part of Russia. It borders on Afghanistan, China, Russia, uh, and it's Kekistan or something. It's one of those stands over there. And how much trust his parents must have to send their kid to us. Uh, we're Americans. Uh, Americans don't have a great name around the world. Uh, I was not even remotely surprised. Uh, I was surprised that the people being so young being accused of the Boston Marathon, but I wasn't even remotely surprised that they were uh, considered Islamic jihadists. Uh, there is such a propaganda push against these people around the world. As I said, I've never met a Muslim that I don't like. But uh, just sitting in admiration of Morad's parents uh, to say, okay, he trusts this girl, my daughter. Um, yes, she's an American. They're living in Switzerland. Um, yes, we trust them with our son in our house. So thank you to the parents of Morad. Thanks uh, to the world for sending us these kids. Uh, and uh, if you have a reason to hate somebody, look at it. Uh, it's usually not well-founded. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com